I would like to call our meeting to order, and if you can, I would like to ask if you would stand and recite the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag with us. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, thank you. At this time, I need uh, a roll call, please. Certainly. Alderman Lockett. Present. Alderman Davis excused as absent. Alderwoman Evans. Here. Alderman Spivey. Here. Alderman Edwards. Here. Mayor Ford. Here. Thank you. At this time, we have uh, Pastor lead us in prayer. Yeah, let us pray. <clears throat> Lord God, as we think about Veterans Day this week, we thank you for those who have served the country, served for our defense. We pray that you will be with them and help them to know that their efforts are appreciated. Help us to show our appreciation through the way we live together, the way we serve one another, help one another as community. We also give thanks for all those who serve the community in many ways, our police officers, firefighters, emergency workers, healthcare workers, especially during this pandemic time. We pray that you will them in your care and help them to help them to um, serve their community faithfully and to keep them healthy. Thank you for the aldermen and the leaders of our community. We pray that you will bless them and help them as they make decisions that affect us. Help us always to remember that we elect our leaders for to preserve common good. We pray that you will bless them and give them wisdom as they make the decisions. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor. Appreciate it. At this time, we need uh, <clears throat> general proceedings. General proceedings, approval of minutes, approval of the administrative city council, uh, administrative council meeting, 10-18-21, and also the regular city council meeting, 10-25-21. Second. Okay, I have a motion on the floor, and I have a second. Are there any questions, corrections? Hearing no corrections. Uh, no questions. Uh, roll call, please. Certainly. Alderman Lockett? Yes. Alderwoman Evans? Y yes. Alderman Spivey? Yes. Alderman Edwards? Yes. Okay, motion carries. Thank you. Next on the agenda tonight, we have communications from the mayor. And um, do we have a representative from the Safe Light Foundation in the house? Safe Light Foundation? Uh, police coming. Police Chief. Chief Gavin. If you could introduce yourself, please. Anyone else? Any other officers with you? Okay, uh, if, hold on if you a can, second. If you can, for the record, we need your name. <laughs> <laughs> and also, before you take your seat, I know you're anxious to sit down. Can you talk a little bit about the award? Uh, we have a microphone. There's a mic. There's, there's a mic right at there. the end. And, and we'll need your name, please. I know this is kind of putting you on the spot, but we just want to hear a little bit about it. The Safe Light Foundation. Hi, I'm Yvonne Davila, and I'm the Executive Director of Safe Light Foundation. Safe Light Foundation provides services for all public safety and traffic safety related issues and for law enforcement in the line of duty if anything happens. So it's, um, it was First Responders Day a few couple of weeks ago, and we decided to provide awards for all of the police chiefs. So on behalf of Safe Light. Thank you. Thank you so much.
All hey, right. It made you choke up, Chief. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all so much. Thanks Thank for coming. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, at this time, we're going to go to the city clerk's report. Thank you, Mayor. Good evening. First, I'd like to thank Pastor Dorn for coming out this, mo this evening and just give him a moment to talk a little bit about St. John's. St. John's Church and School were established here in country, uh, before Country Club Hills in 1849. Our building, our current building, our church building was built in 1874. When you have a building that old, it requires lots of maintenance. As the community has noticed, we've had to re do a lot of maintenance on our steeple. On the steeple, yes. And so uh, it's pretty obvious that the maintenance has been done. It took us a number of years to raise the funds, as well as then a couple of several years to get the project completed. It's now completed, and I think that as people drive by, they notice shiny copper on it. Yes. In fact, I can pull out of my driveway and I can see it from my house. I'm sure you can. All right, thank you, Pastor Dorn. Thank you so much. Um, also, I just wanted to remind everyone, the City of Country Club Hills does have employment opportunities. We are still looking for a meter reader. We are looking for a finance administrator and a couple of other opportunities. If you can go to the website at www.countryclubhills.org under employment opportunities. Also, if I could please ask all veterans to stand. If you are a veteran, please stand. Going once. Going all twice. right, let's okay. give our <laughs> veterans a round of applause. We thank you on Thursday. Thursday is Veterans Day, and we just want to let you know that here in Country Club Hills, we honor our heroes, and we thank them for their service, bravery, and sacrifice. So we thank all of you for your commitment to the U.S. Next, Cook County Sheriff and Rich Township will have a vehicle light repair uh, program on November 18th. We do have it on the Facebook page, and I have a flyer here if you need one, just let me know. It will repair tail lights, headlights, license plate lights. November 18th, 22013 Governor's Highway in Richmond Park from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And last item, the sleigh is coming. I forgot the bells. So just as a reminder, on November 15th, we will kick off our food drive as well as we're doing hats, gloves, scarves, and uh, mittens for children. Some children are a little bigger than other children, so make sure that you can get them for little ones as well as adults. I believe the fire department has some donations that they would like to bring to the table and we will all have opportunities to bring items to the table again. But we definitely want to make sure that we reach out to our residents, those that, that are in need. Uh, some are funneled through the churches, others are identified through the school districts. So if you have items, please bring them in. We would like donations of new items and for the non-perishables canned goods that are not expired. So we thank everyone for the, do for the donations. Thank you, yes, that's perfectly fine. All right, and that is the end of my report. Last thing, happy Thanksgiving, in case we don't see you again. End of report. All right, thank you. Thank you, Fire Department, for your donations. Uh, next on the agenda, we have um, the committee reports. And the first committee up tonight will be the Finance Committee. Alderman Lockett is the chairman. Thank you, Mayor. Um, need Council's approval for the vouchers in amount of $3 $305,615.71. Second. Okay, it's been probably motion and second. Are there any questions? Hearing no questions, roll call, please. Certainly. Alderman Lockett? Yes. Alderman Evans? Yes. Alderman Spivey? Yes. Alderman Edwards? Yes. End of my report. Motion carries. Okay, next report we have uh, Law and Ordinance, Government Operation, Alderwoman Evans. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, my next committee meeting is November 18th at 4.30 p.m. And um, that would be the end of my report. All right, All right. right. thank you so much. Public Works and Utilities, Alderman Davis, anything? Anyone? No report at the time. No report, all right, moving forward. We have Economic Development Zoning Development, Alderman Spivey Chair. 
Yes, Mayor, just waiting to hear um, about the um, Class 8 from uh, the uh, uh, county. from the county to move forward on the uh, project over on 183rd Street in the okay. Cooper's Grove Mall Big with Big Lots. Okay. In the uh, report. What about the, uh, the shred day, you guys? Oh, yes, the, the uh, shred day. Uh, the shred day went well. I talked with Tom and Janie. Tom that and was Jane. last okay. week. On the uh, last week, Saturday, everything went well. So, um, okay. End of your report? End of my report. All right, thank you. We have uh, education, uh, Park and Rex, Alderman Evans, Edwards, Edwards. Sorry, Edwards. I'm sorry, <laughs> Edwards, John Edwards. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, we had a meeting and we had um, Hillcrest come out and we had a pretty good conversation with the young lady. So we're gonna work together. Also, I received a call today from 227 uh, superintendent. So I got a meeting with him next week. So, so far, I, and I received a call last week from District 160. So I've got all four school districts ready to work. I'm gonna push the dates back probably to February for our career day. Um, and then I have a meeting at five o'clock on November the 18th, the public is welcome. We not only talk about education, but we talk about parks and recs. I wanna thank the mayor uh, for allowing the Hawks to play uh, last week on the field. Uh, actually, they won at Homewood Flossmore yesterday and they go into the Super Bowl in Florida. Great. A team from our neighborhood made it to the Super Bowl. So I hope the aldermen and the treasurer and the clerk, all of us could throw in a little money to help them get there because these are young men who are doing right by giving their time to play sports and making good grades in school. End of my report. Thank you so much, Alderman. We'll definitely see what we can do to help out. Okay, at this time I need a motion to open the floor to the public. Motion Second. open the floor to the public. Second. It's been probably motion and second. Roll call, please. Certainly. Alderman Lockett? Yes. Alderman Evans? Yes. Alderman Spivey? Yes. Alderman Edwards? Yes. Public, anyone want to address the council? Go right ahead, sir. My name is Mike Palumbo. Mike? And oh. Mike Acumbo. It's on? It's on. My name is Mike Palumbo, and I've got a problem with the street lights by my house at 176th Place and uh, Hillcrest Drive. It was out for about two months. I made a couple of calls to City Hall and nothing happened. I finally got uh, John Edwards, the alderman involved, and they came out and they fixed it, but it worked for two days and it's out again. And uh, I really appreciate having that light there when I go out to the house in the morning. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's it's a much it's a it's a help for me when I walk out there I can see okay and I'd really like to get something done with those lights so that they're working all the time okay Mike we'll definitely look into that for you that's uh, 176 place and he'll crash drive all right are the gentleman sitting in that room back there we'll pass that on to him he's waving at you now Yes. Yes. That's that's the. Can gentleman. I go talk to him. Yes, sir. You, All right. You can go, go right back and talk, and to, talk him. to him. You can go right back in and talk to him. Thank you. Yes, sir. Anyone else? Close the floor to the public, please. Motion close the floor to the public. Second. It's been probably motion second. Um, roll call, please. <laughs> yes. Sorry. All right. Alderman Spivey. Yes. Alderman Edwards. Yes. Thank you, motion carries. Uh, now we have the automatic reports and we start with Alderman Lockett tonight. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Um, I just want to remind um, all the residents of Country Club Hills within the Southland that um, there are booster shots, booster shots, booster shots uh, at the Robbins um, Community Health Center. Um, no appointments needed. Um, you can go there and just schedule and get your booster shot. And I also want to uh, recognize the, I believe they call the Junior Hawks, the cheerleaders for the um, Country Club Hills um, Cougars. 
Um, all the age groups took first place in the cheering competition, and I guess they're off to Florida also. So just want to uh, say job well done, and my grandbaby is one of those. So um, end of my report. All right, thank you. Alderwoman Evans. All right, Alderman Spivey. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, just want to say thank you to all the veterans for serving, Mayor, yourself, and Alderwoman Evans for Veterans Day. Thank you to all the veterans here in Country Club Hills and in the Southland. And uh, looking forward to uh, a great Thanksgiving. Hope everybody um, have a great Thanksgiving and safe holidays coming up to be in the report. Thank you. Alderman John. Thank you, that Mayor. Uh, I want everybody to know that here, all of us are our friends, and that when I come to the dais, I come here to represent War One and the issues with War One. I was called by a resident about a problem with a garage on fire, and I don't know what the problem was, but they couldn't get water out of two of the fire hydrants. So I would like the city to think about how to maintain or at least check the fire hydrants uh, on a regular basis because if it was a house burning, we might have been in bad shape, but it was a garage, even though that's still bad. Also, I asked the mayor last meeting about the theater money and I found out it was $36,000 in that account. And here I have a letter, email from the mayor saying that it costs 10000 to uh, 10000 to 15000 to rent it. So not trying to start trouble but being transparent, I found five concerts for 5000 one for 3000 I had over four people call to lease, to rent the concert, and not one of them was able to get the concert theater because they were given runarounds. So I would like for the city to be more transparent on what goes on with the theater and explain why some people pay 10000 which is stated in the email, and some people pay $5,000. i am just a little confused. So when you get a chance to explain it, please do. End of my report. Oh, the lights. I agree with Mike. They need to be on. Yes, and uh, um, my public works just took care of that, so we'll get that done. And I'll be more than willing to give you an explanation. Um, but uh, the Bulls is coming on right now, so we want to prolong that. And I'll discuss that with you later this week. Money. It's the tax okay. paper, taxpayers' uh, theater. All right. So um, I just wanted to find out from the teams from the Hillcrest High School that's going to Florida. You said to Chile, this team is going? Um, the for the Country Club Hills Cougars. Okay, the Cougars is going, and the Junior Hawks from Hillcrest. So, uh, well, it's, I, not the, it's not the Hillcrest team, it's the, it's uh, the com combination the Krugers, of football yes. teams yes, called yes. the Hawks. I'm sorry. They I come understand. from a little bit everywhere. They, they're about 8 and 1. Yes. So they play next week. They play Joliet. They beat. They got to buy it. They go on to Florida, December the 1st. So okay. I'm going to try to give them some money to show that I appreciate them young guys for going out there and practicing for two hours. Okay, so are you giving money through your expense account? Yes. So please, if you all of them want to do that, let me know what the amount is, and I'll have the finance um, director to take it out and cut a check specially to them. Okay. So I'll get a letter from who the check should go to. Okay. I'll get a letter. Okay. And is it going to be the same, right? It'll be different. Oh, it'll be different. For the cheerleaders and... I think they're all a part of the Hawks. Hawks, okay. It's called well, the Junior I, I, Hawks, right? I would right? like to get the, the football team check totally different from the cheerleaders because they might be going different times. Well, that's different why places. I was trying to determine if it's I'll the same. I'll get a letter. I'll get a letter putting them in. Okay. Well, I think they're going to be going the same time because they're going to be cheer, cheering for Maybe. them. No, but, okay. Well, we'll, 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 we'll side by this one and we'll take care of it. We'll get it covered. Okay. Okay, so that's really all I have. Uh, I'm not sure that we're going to have a meeting before Thanksgiving, which will be on the 22nd. Um, if we do not, then I just want to wish all the residents of Country Club Hills a happy, happy uh, Thanksgiving Day uh, weekend as well. So with that. Um, motion for adjournment. Motion for adjournment. I need a roll. Uh, got a second? Second. Got a second. And the motion. Roll call, please. Certainly. Alderman Lockett. Yes. 
Alderman Evans? Yes. <clears throat> Alderman Spivey? Yes. Alderman Edwards? Yes. All right, motion carries. Uh, thank you all. 722. Again. And 722, we call this over and let's go watch uh, Go, go Bears. <laughs>